Hello there guys, once again my name is Sean Sambrick and a warm welcome to the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel and the latest episode of Theme Park Worldwide the show. Coming up in the show we've got the latest worldwide news including an awesome new coaster coming to Dollywood uh, for next season which looks great. We've got the full details on the Heidi Park Wing Coaster, news from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the latest on the Thorpe Park Friday Nights. It's going to be great along with classic things like your magic moments, your shout outs and of course Merch Paradise. It's all coming up here in the latest episode of Theme Park Worldwide the show. My name's Sean Sandbrook and that means it's time to cue those titles. So yes, once again, warm welcome to the show. It's been an awesome week for theme park news. We've got quite a lot, as I mentioned in the intro, uh, just a few seconds ago there, uh, which is absolutely great. Of course, we've had some great videos on the channel this week. Let's just have a look back. Of course, we've had the John Wardley documentary, which has gone. Uh, well, I say documentary, it was more a questions and answer session uh, from when we went with the European Coaster Club uh, to Oakwood just a couple of weeks back. And uh, we met up with John Wardley, there was only about 30 of us there. Really nice, sort of uh, close moments there with John Wardley. Told us all about the smile and his thoughts and all that. And he was very open about what he thought about things. We really enjoyed it. If you've not yet checked it out, go and check it out. There's a link uh, just underneath in the description. Or just go over to the channel, you'll see it just there. Um, it's like called John, you'll just see John Wardley's name at the start there. A really brilliant watch. It's 45 minutes of pure John. I know that's dream worthy for a lot of you. Go and check it out and you'll love it. But first, now let's kick in with your UK theme park news. So yes, first up in the UK theme park news, here from the wonderful world of theme parks, we just want to tell you about an awesome event that's going to be happening at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This was revealed just a few days ago. They have announced that throughout the illuminations, um, you're going to be able to walk to the top of the big one roller coaster. It's going to be an absolute fantastic opportunity, something we will be doing on Theme Park Worldwide. Whether we'll be able to actually film us climbing it and take photos and stuff at the top, I'm not too sure. Um, but I don't see why not. Uh, I know Pleasure Beach can be quite strict on uh, uh, cameras and stuff like that uh, when the park's open. But when it comes to this event, hopefully uh, there'll be more lenience on that. So we'll bring it to you here on the channel. Um, but yeah, you can climb up to the top of the coaster. Um, 213 foot tall, uh, the big one at Blackpool. It's been there since 1994. 94 was a big year for UK theme parks. Just to recap, you had Nemesis at Alton Towers, which was the first uh, inverted coaster in Europe. Uh, and the second one to be done. Uh, and then, of course, you had Shockwave, uh, the stand up roller coaster, sort of the Intamin BM crossover uh, at Drayton Manor. Then, of course, you had the, the big one, which was once then, it was the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. MCS so, yes, 213 foot tall. Dates for this every Friday in September, the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th uh, of September. And it's £35. Quite a lot of money, I hear you all ask there. But £35 for what you get in here, I think, is brilliant. Once in a lifetime opportunity, uh, something we're going to check out. Deputy Managing Director Nick Thompson, that is the brother of Amanda Thompson, we all love Amanda here at the show, and um, says that walking the big one is an amazing experience and it gives the climber a unique view of the park and the rest of the coast. It'll be a memory that will live with them forever and also a chance to see Blackpool at its best when the illuminations are on. It's going to be happening at night, obviously, once it gets dark. You're going to be climbing up there, getting beautiful views. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. As I said, we will be there here at the show. Uh, of course, we'll give you updates and stuff, but whether we'll be able to film the whole thing or not. I mean, as you know, I try my best with this sort of thing, but we might not be able to. Stay tuned in on the channel, and we'll bring you more updates as we get them. Next up, any UK theme park news? It was only mentioned last week, and thinking about, oh, well, when are we going to get any more updates on Friday nights? It happened just a few days later, um, much like the Wing Coast, which you'll see later as well. And Thorpe Park have announced their full lineup for Friday nights. It's going to be the best Halloween event in the UK, if not Europe. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, so basically, they're working with Lionsgate, uh, who do all the Saw movies and stuff like that. They've got quite a strong connection with them. And to bring you the Thorpe Park Movie Studios. 
is a disused cinema where deranged movie directors bring horror movies to, movies to life and stages daily casting calls uh, amongst the guests to see the leading ladies and men from the understudies. Sounds really good, that's the concept from the park. You've got some brand new mazes in there, all the old ones ripped out. You've got My Bloody Valentine, you've got Cabin in the Woods, Saw Alive, The Blair Witch Project, Your Next, having Roman characters. Now, Your Next, you might not have heard of it, it only comes out this August. Um, it's a brand new horror movie, what they're doing. Uh, and then you've heard, there's a rumour that The Asylum, which is one of the mazes that's been there for many years now, probably like five, six years, um, is going to come back with some different scenery and a different sort of theme to it. However, that isn't officially confirmed, but the park have hinted towards that uh, sort of in the past few months when they've done events and stuff. So we'll have to see uh, with press releases and that. But uh, no, it looks great. It's going to be the best Halloween event they've done. Uh, it's going to be awesome, maze. It's really going to be the one to watch. I've always been a massive fan of Scarefest. That's been my favourite event. I think uh, Thought Park there, just throwing this out. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I recommend. Let's go and all check this out and see what uh, has been brought to the UK. There are all your details. As we get more, of course, we'll bring them to you here on the channel. Because here at Theme Park Worldwide, we love bringing it to you. And if you want the latest updates first, you can go on Twitter at Theme Park WW. There it is at the top of your screen on that shelf. And it's gone. Gone forever. No, just type it in, you'll find it. Uh, of course, like us on Facebook as well, just by searching Theme Park Worldwide or www.facebook.com with a forward slash Theme Park Worldwide, and that will now take you uh, to our Facebook page. We've got competitions, we've got one coming up in a couple of nights' time, and uh, to win some awesome stuff, I'm sure you'd all enjoy it. That's all for now on your Thought Park Fright Nights. Bring on Halloween, it's going to be awesome. Now finally in the UK theme park news, as the summer is sadly drawing to an end, woo, but Halloween's coming, yay! Um, we've got to give you some details on some great value days out for the last sort of week and a half, two weeks of the summer holidays. Uh, of course, Merlin are doing a special offer, £10 entry to Thorpe and Chessington. Um, if you've got a Merlin annual pass, standard or premium, just ring up 24 hours in advance when you want to visit, and you can claim the ticket offer. You can take family and friends uh, who don't have Merlin passes, for £10 to Thorpe Park in Chessington until the 8th of September. So that's like a, a few days after the summer holidays, that's the end. Um, and then you'll get the discounted rates for Warwick Castle and Alton Towers as well. Uh, I think it's around £15 to £20 uh, for Alton Towers. And they're doing an offer for about £7 for Warwick Castle. Really good. Don't, uh, just check out the Merlin website, uh, Merlin Annual Pass. And they will uh, tell you more about that there. So that's going to be great. Of course, you've also got Blackpool Pleasure Beach again, celebrating summer. Uh, with all wristbands, £25. Um, so, so that's lots of summer thrills. You've got the Hot Ice Show going on as well, where you do have to pay extra for. But um, well, that's at the arena in the park. And if you get one of the wristbands for unlimited riding, uh, you'll get a discount. I don't think it's much, probably about 8 to £10 um, for a ticket to the Hot Ice Show. Really good. I saw it last year. Uh, hopefully you're going to be seeing it later in the week as well. That's it. Wednesday, live updates from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Remember that. It's going to be good. Uh, that's on our Facebook and Twitter that I mentioned just. And that's going to be good. Then, of course, you've got Drayton Manor. They've got a summer ticket offer as well. Uh, £20 for adults and £15 for kids when booked online. You've got the new Winston Monorail there. They've got Ben 10. You've got Thomas Land. Lots of street entertainment. It's really worth going to check out. That's Drayton Manor. There are all your updates. Make sure if you are going to parks to uh, book your tickets online in advance. If you're going to Alton Towers, go to Kellogg's. Get some Kellogg's products uh, like your squares, bars, and Crave and stuff. Two for one entry on there all trying to give you the best value day out um, to the parks as we reach the end of the summer. Go and check it out and of course remember to contact us here at the show with what you think to the parks this summer as well. We'd love to hear. So yes, welcome to Worldwide Theme Park News here on Theme Park Worldwide, the show. I hope you're all enjoying it so far. And this is an awesome new coaster coming to Dollywood, uh, which is in America. It's owned by Dolly Parton, believe it or not. Yeah, she does own a theme park. Uh, quite a lot of people didn't actually know that. I know I didn't up until a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, Fire Chaser. Sounds really good. Nice new name. Yes, another coaster for Dollywood. They've had quite a few things like Mystery You Mine. Uh, they've had, you know, some great stuff going over the past few years. They had the B&M Wing. And, of course, now they're going for a Gerslauer. Hey, we all have a good, reliable Gerslauer. It's a dual launch coaster for families, bear in mind. Um, 0 to 16 mile an hour launch in 1.1 seconds. Woo! Talking fast here. Uh, 0 to 20 mile an hour in 2 seconds. So that's going to be a nice little family launch coaster. I think it's going to be great. 
uh, fire chaser, 2,427 feet long, uh, two helixes, six zero G moments. So that'll be interesting. Uh, there's going to be a trick track section. Woo! That's be interesting. Do you think we're going to see something a bit like uh, Polar Explorer, uh, Legoland Bill, and what has the the drop and stuff? Um, like a bit of a trick track, like 13 at Alton Towers. Uh, be interesting. Top speed of 35 miles an hour. Uh, 79 foot tall and obviously it's manufactured by Gersler as we mentioned. Going to be really interesting. Here's like the official sort of line from the park. Uh, they say where the smoke there's fire. Well, in Smoky Mountains that's more than just a saying. Mm. Fortunately, it seems like every big blaze they've always been a few brave souls willing to answer the call. Heroes able to tame nature's fury and preserve the Smokies for generations to come. Now comes your turn to celebrate the hero heroic spirit. Uh, in a new coaster that's sure to test your metal, leave you screaming for more. It's the Fire Chaser Express, the nation's first dual launch family coaster. Interesting first there. Uh, blasting riders forward and backwards. Uh, and that's going to be opening for 2014. Sounds really good. We'll keep you updated on Fire Chaser construction uh, as it moves on. In other news from Dollywood, $300 million are going to be put in there over the next 10 years, up until 2023, including a new on-site hotel with luxurious facilities for 2015. We'll bring you all the updates here on Theme Park Worldwide, as we do with everything. Uh, for this, it sounds like it's going to be good. Do want to get out to Dollywood at some point, and I think... Uh, when the hotel opens will be the best time to go after 2015. We'll check it out here at the show. So yes, as I'm sure you all remember, unless you're a new viewer since last week here on the show, if you are, hi there to you. And um, we did mention about the Heidi Park wing coaster. It's a Merlin Park, Heidi Park, it's in Germany. And um, we're gonna be heading out there next year, can't wait, and it's gonna be here on the channel. Um, you heard it here first there. Um, but yes, as I'm sure you all are aware, they are opening the new wing coaster. It's going to be great. 15 million euro is being spent on this. It's going to be great. And it's opening in March 2014. So it's manufactured by B&M, the wing coaster concept, much like Raptor at Guardland. You've got Swarm at Thought Park. You've got Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. Um, you know, there's a load as well. Wild Eagle over at Dollywood, as we were just talking about. And um, yeah, you've got the wing coaster. It's at this one here. We've got some more details. Five inversions, much like the Swarm. Um, it's got a bit of a different layout and stuff as well. Uh, it, it does look quite similar to the Swarm with its with its start, um, but it's got 772 metres of track, 40 metres of height. Um, it's going to be going 62 miles per hour uh, once it's operating, a duration of just under two and a half minutes, and a capacity, uh, they reckon, I don't know how they work this out, but uh, of a thousand, just over a thousand riders per hour. I'm sure it might be a few more than that, knowing it with it being a B&M. Um, but yeah, it does look like it's going to be really good. The layouts and stuff look quite decent. Here's a few little pictures there uh, of our constructions coming on. Uh, but yeah, it looks, as you can see there, boom, it's going up like that. As soon as that release date was done, they want to do it. Obviously, with the smile they've had, uh, the problems with the smiler. The smiler they've had with the problems. That doesn't make sense. I'm crazy. It's a Sunday night. Uh, too much marmalisation today up the road at Towers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Uh, a nice addition. Can't wait to get out there. Uh, and try their other rides. They had Crake, a B&M uh, dive machine um, the other year as well. So I can't wait to go out there and to Gardaland next year and check out them parks. Uh, of course, that is all for the wind coaster for now. We'll keep you updated as construction comes on. As you can see by the picture there, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be good. It's really coming on. They didn't want to leave it like they did with Smiles at the last minute. Let's get this thing built. Good quality B&M and it'll be open for March. So yes, next up it's time for this week's shout outs here on Theme Park Worldwide, the show. And our first shout out goes to Charlotte Taurus. Love you loads. Happy one month. <laughs> next you've got the Ninja Cat 20, Harvard Asian Kids, Mr. Baker Games, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, 6. Oh yeah, thanks for watching the show. Tom Lander and Ye Ye. Uh, Worldwide Attractions, James Dunlop, Daniel Fotheringham, Louis Weber, Ollie Morrison, uh, Becky 119E4 and Monkey Matthew, Tom B, Truman Smile and Mad Phones, woo! Truman and his son, uh, you got Fred Fluffies, Lion Fuzz, Annie's Dribbling, Nathan News and Laura Podmore. And uh, we wish them luck as they're now in a relationship. Oh, heart for you guys. 
And a big hello to Laura, Asher and tell him that Nathan Hughes can't wait to start Litchfield College. There you go, that's what he sent to me. Thought you want to hear that. Uh, and then you got uh, their early shout out. That's it, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed them shout outs there. Going off my own world again. Too much normalisation. Send them in and I'll tell you more about that after our next section uh, over in our magic moments later in the show. Send them in. Da, 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 da. Woo! So yes, it's time for Merch Paradise. I still love that opening title sequence. And yeah, I'm going to show you three mugs now from our wonderful collection of over 150 theme park mugs. 2010, big year for Alton Towers, 13 released. And of course, the rebranding of Ugland and Thunder Rock Rally to the Dark Forest, of course, meant a rebrand for Rita. Now, a lot of you might not have seen this, so I'll show you. You've got three mugs from the old Rita branding. Uh, you got this one just here, it's like uh, four tyres with the Rita with the Speed Lady on. Um, you don't really see much of her now, it's not a raceway. Uh, then you got this one, uh, this came out quite close to the ride actually opening originally. Uh, Rita, Rita Mug there, you got the original logo uh, with the flames and stuff on there as well. Uh, and then you've got this one here, a very old Rita Mug, it says Goddess on the back. This was from like 2006. Uh, and then you got the big Rita Queen of Speed on the front there. Uh, there are three Rita mugs. There you go. Uh, and of course, if you ever see them on eBay and stuff, it's probably worth picking up. It's a really nice size. I just can't remember the prices I bet. £6 for that. Blimey, they've gone up for a big mug now uh, since then. Um, but yeah, we do love the mugs here at the show. If you do ever see anything, by the way, uh, what you don't want on eBay and you think I might like it, just send it over as a link uh, and I'll buy it here for the wonderful world of theme parks. I love the world. It's always expanding. And um, yes, that's it for your shout-outs and your merch paradise, so that means it's time for Magic Moments. Magic moments okay, to so scrap the last one, I said Magic Moments, maybe it just should be Magic Moment. What have you been doing guys? I've had no Magic Moments sent in apart from one this week. Uh, and this isn't of a person, this is from Ben Strange. He made a model of Big Thunder Mountain on his holiday, probably on a beach like Blackpool or something. It looks quite British, sorry if it was abroad. Look at that there, really interesting, something that I'd do that. He's built like the model of the mountain with the lake around it, uh, Disneyland Paris of Big Thunder. Looks great, in fact here's a picture of Big Thunder, look, uh, to just show the comparison there. Uh, and there's his picture again. Look at that, absolutely awesome, he's done a great job there. Send in some magic moments. I want at least five magic moments for next Monday's episode of the show. It'll be the end of the summer holidays next week, so you've all got this last week to get out there, get some pictures sent in, uh, and of course we want to see them. Private message them to me, private, uh, on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page, or tweet them in at Theme Park WW. That is how to do it. You just attach it in the message uh, on either and send it through. You can just tweet the actual picture on, on Twitter. Uh, and if you want to shout out, Comment below here, not the title there, you want to comment below, uh, tweet it in at ThemeParkWW, there it is, or write it on the Facebook wall. That is how you do Magic Moments and Shout Outs. I know there's been a bit of confusion about how you send stuff in, uh, but they are the ways to do it and they're all up here on, on the show if you do it in those ways. Um, so that is all for this episode of the show. Hey, you've enjoyed it, it's been a nice one bringing to you quite a lot of news and stuff, uh, mainly from across the world, it's been really good. And don't forget we've got the Theme Park Worldwide meetup on Sunday the 22nd of September. That's in about four and a half weeks time. It's going to be great. Starting at 9.45am. Everybody here is welcome. You can officially attend the event on Facebook. Uh, if you go over to our Facebook wall, you'll see there there's about 28 people confirmed already. And um, yeah, we're going to be meeting at 9.45 at the Frogs on Tower Street. Uh, where we're going to be having the meetup. We're going to be going on the golf afterwards and stuff like that. Uh, we'll make sure you get entry to Alton Towers and then meet us down there at the Frogs ready for a fun-filled day on the park. It's going to be great. Uh, and that's all for the show. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've got lots of videos coming up this week on the channel. In fact, we've got a brand new video coming on every single day this week. It's a busy day for the channel. Make sure you check them out. My name's Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching the show. I'll see you on Friday for all the coaches of the week. And that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys. Have an awesome week. Let's go.